We've been in this car too long. It's been an hour. I know. So, we're going to start with them first. He's okay. He's all right. Uh, we're going to start with you guys first. Pause the uh, pause the episode right now. You got to tell them what they're doing first. They're going to pause it. Yeah, that's great. And what are they going to do after that? Okay. See, I told you I'm new at this. <laughs> Uh, what you're gonna do right now is there was one bill. Okay, should we do offense and defense? Mm-hmm. But a little too long, just one. Okay. Well, Paul and I will pick one. If there were, you guys could do it in the comment section. Or you pick offense and defense. If there was one bill you could pick to put on this 2019 roster. But you got you got to identify who you're getting rid of. You got to get rid of a specific player. There's one bill from a former Bills team that you could put on this roster. For the 2019 season, who would it be? Pause the video, put down in your in the comment section, and watch where uh, where Paul and I go with this. After you hit that subscribe bell, be sure to head over to Sportscaster and join us every Saturday at 8 a.m. You can give that one a shot again. Mine's a pyramid. You're not going to like it. Pyramid? You're not going to like it. Do you want offense or defense? Uh, I want offense. Okay, I'll take defense. And then you and I have to decide which one's the overall best or one offense, one defense. No, no. This is up for debate as far as I'm concerned. That's fine. No, we could debate it. I'm going to pick a defensive player, and then I'm going to re- remove a defensive player. Mm-hmm. You're going to pick an offensive player and remove an offensive player. Go first. Okay. I had to look at. It's tough. Dude, this defense is so good. It's 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 hard to figure out where you're going to remove something from that defense. It really is. It's a nasty defense. Unfortunately, what I would do if I could pick a former Bill to put on this team, and it hurts me to say this. It really does. It really hurts me to say this. However, I am going to remove, because I had two options here, and I'll tell you what the second op- second option is in a minute. I'm going to remove Kevin Johnson mm-hmm. from the cornerback two position, mm-hmm. and I'm going to put Nate Clemens. My backup, my backup, and this is what hurt, I was going to remove Teron Johnson from the slot and put Leotis McKelvin in the slot as a slot corner. Man, you just hold a torch for Leotis McKelvin playing the slot. Leotis McKelvin, for those of you who aren't super familiar with that, here we go. for years, years, we said Leotis McKelvin. He was like herpes. You couldn't get him off this team. He went through like five oh, head coaches. God, why did this, this is the 17th time you've mentioned VD, yeah, and i got to cut it out you now. You can't cut it out. Herpes, uh. is a, herpes is a threat to society, and it never goes away. So... Be careful out there. But, what are you looking at me for? Do you have any sores? So, Leotis McKelvin hung around forever. He always, it didn't matter what coaching change happened, Leotis was making the team. Philosophy, everything like that. He, he thrived under Patton. Yep. He had like 20 pass breakups the one year because he could never find a ball. No, the Patton just goes, listen, when the guy goes like this, just put your arms up. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got to do. Just put your arms up. Because Leo's McKelvin had just horrible ball skills. Great coverage corner. Giggity. He could run with anybody. But good God, he had no idea where that football was. But we talked about putting Leo's McKelvin in the slot because you keep the play in front of you. Yeah. He, yep. he would have been dangerous if he could see it. Move him to safety, uh, he would have been dangerous. Notice that was my backup, though. Mm-hmm. I, I would take Kevin Johnson yeah. off the team and put Nate Clemens as the second corner across from Trey White. See, I wouldn't have taken Nate Clemens. I would have taken Terrence McGee. I like, yeah, I know, but we're both partial to each one of those for a reason. You love Terrence McGee because he can also double up as a returner. Yeah. And he was a, he was a very good cover guy. You guilty hate as Nate, charged. Guilty yeah, as charged. You hate Nate Clemens because he went to Ohio State. The, also guilty as charged. Okay, yeah, so I, that's the only reason yeah. why. I, but I'm not saying not there's not blood on my hands here, Mario. <laughs> I love this episode already. <laughs> Five minutes into it. I'll rewatch it right now. <laughs> but that, yeah. that all makes a lot of sense. Um, that all makes a lot of sense. So you'd get rid of Kevin Johnson and not um, EJ Gaines. No. 
because uh, I like Gaines in the slot more. I'm with you there. You can drop him in the slot. He's a guy. If you don't know, because Teron Johnson got hurt last year. You don't yeah. know. You like to have insurance policies all over the place. EJ Gaines can play the outside and the inside. He's almost like your Zay Jones of the defense. Yep. Um, <laughs> it's like you have this versatility. They catch about the same, too. I do. Uh, side note away from the episode, that's the new solid ace. Oh. Yeah, it's the old JT Wheatfields. Yeah. It's awesome inside. I went there for dinner the other night, took the kids. Um, Did they redo it inside? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh. <clears throat> um, and uh, they put down, um, you can draw on the tables. So Was I took a dry the erase we, marker? They give you dry erase marker? No, no, no. Paper and crayons. Okay. So uh, it's white white tablecloth. That's It's a paper tablecloth. You just draw all over it. They just replace it. Um, but it was great because I took the kids and we'd play tic tac toe and, you know, did all this stuff while we were waiting. Tell me you drew up Spider 2 Y Banana. You're so disappointing. I did not draw Spider 2 Y Banana. Draw Listen, it. if our offensive coordinator can't draw it, I'm not, I'm not going to disrespect him. Disrespecting him would be if you could draw it. <laughs> I like I like yours. It's hard to argue with. I think again, I think there's a little bit of a debate, you know, to who you take off. But I agree, Kevin Johnson take him off over EJ Gaines. He's I one have of the to newest agree with guys. That. You got all this other stuff. Yeah. Now I know you could say, right. oh, former put, first round player, put like, Bruce across from Hughes. Right. I understand all that, but this is where I went with. This mm-hmm. is what I went with. Yeah. If I could recycle Mario Williams again and bring him back in his prime, mm-hmm. put him on the corner. Right now? Sure. Oh boy. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of different options. But this defense is so stacked, I didn't know where to go. So I was like, you know what? Let me give me cornerback two. Let's roll. So mine is going to be a little is going to be a little strange. It's not going to be the direction people go. So I'm, I'm going to so take curious. the offense. So, curious. so I am. Um, I'm going to go offensive line because I think that's a major focus for the Bills. A lot of people might say Andre Reid. A lot of people might say Eric Mould. I, I disagree with that a little bit because you still have a quarterback that's learning how to get the ball to that player. Like, could they help develop the quarterback? Sure, you know, sure. But yeah. I'm, I'm going to go with a little bit of a different route. I want to guarantee that my quarterback has the time he needs to make the reads that he needs to make, right? So that's the direction that I'm going. Are you taking Joe Delamalure? I'm so uh, you know what? You. It's funny because that name popped into my head. <laughs> Joe Delamalure, Fred, like, you start looking at some of the guys across the line and uh, that have been with the Bills that are, you know, wall of famers. And um, there's a few, right? Yeah. And Joe DeLamalore makes a lot of sense. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause on that a little bit because, again, that was a long time ago. So I kind of look at the generation of football yes. being a little different, was, right? Yeah, well, he was a 250-pound offensive tackle. Right, yeah. Or guard. I can't remember. He played he tackle. Played, I thought he played tackle. He could play anywhere. But they're interchangeable. Guards, tackles, centers, quarterbacks, they all do the same thing. Right. The direction that I'm going to take this is, is a little different. Um, I am not going to cut anybody. Are you ready for this? Why do you always mess I, with the rules of the game? I'm not messing with the Everyone rules. Everyone else just made their comments. Yeah, you know. I get it. I get it. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to get rid of somebody, but it's, gonna, it's not going to be the way that you think. So, here's what I'm doing. <laughs> I am taking... Um, I'm going to take Jason Peters. Oh, I'm going to bring Jason Peters back. That's dirty. Okay. Shit, I take Jason Peters now. Um, <laughs> what, 37? Bring... Yeah, he's Why don't you just pick up Donald Penn while you're at it? <laughs> it wouldn't be hard. Aren't they at Denny's for the senior discount about this time of the morning? <laughs> <laughs> that could have got ugly. So, I'm, I'm going to take Jason Peters. So, what does that mean for Deion Dawkins? Okay. Now, I have two options here. Oh, I, oh, I don't. I have two options here. So, I can move Dawkins in the guard, which is where he belongs! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. This is a reaction. This is a reaction. Um, I'm getting verklempt. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. <laughs> Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island. Discuss. That's from like early 90s, Saturday Night Live. I'm done with you. If you don't remember the uh, coffee talk. I am so Do you convinced. Do coffee talk? Yes, I remember coffee talk. Here's the problem <laughs> with your references. Every single one of them is from the 90s. I know. You got so kids tragic. in the hall. You got all these other references that you do. 
And they're all from the... Like, people got to think that we're stuck in a time warp. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I don't consider anything that happened before... What year are we in? 2019? I don't consider... 1999. Yeah, I don't consider anything before 1999 relevant in sports at all. Anymore. It's sports, though. Everything sports, else you right. reference. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. <laughs> it's sports. Anything that happened... Uh, in 1999 and prior, and every year it gets a year later. So anything that happened more than 20 years ago in sports, I don't find is relevant. So I don't. He I really just don't pay it even. I don't even pay attention to it. I just wipe it off the board. He doesn't acknowledge miracle happened. It's not important in today's society. Anymore. Why not? The Russians beat themselves. <laughs> it was just a matter of time. Let's be real. Let's <laughs> just be real about that. <laughs> they beat themselves. Anyway. Your kid would be going to Ivan Drago Preparatory School right now if, <laughs> if a miracle didn't happen. So let me, allow me to finish my point. So, I'm going to take Deion Dawkins, and I could move him into guard, which would make a lot of sense, right? It yes. would make a lot of sense. I like him at guard. I like him at guard, too, right? But that displaces John Feliciano. This is Quentin's main. Or, or I'm not putting him at right guard. I'm putting him at left guard. Okay. All right. Um... But this is your pick, so you can put him wherever you want. So I'm 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 in I'm electing to trade him. Oh. So we're adding layers to this now. <laughs> it's <See>? like an <laughs> onion. <laughs> There's layers. It's like an ogre. Ogres ogres have layers. Are you referencing that I'm the ogre in this scenario and you're the donkey? <laughs> Are we really debating this right now? Oh, good point. First off. Look at what you're wearing. And I'm clearly a donkey. <laughs> I don't really know where we can go from here. All right. Um, so I'm trading Deion Dawkins. And where am I trading Deion Dawkins to? L.A. Chargers. L.A. Chargers. And what am I getting back? Melvin Gordon. Melvin Ingram. Melvin Ingram. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. This freaking guy. I'll take Lawson, Dawkins, packing them together, send them off, and get Melvin Ingram in a third-round pick and be happy with it. And you have Jason Peters. And I have Jason Peters. Because that first part of that scenario doesn't seem that far-fetched. <laughs> <laughs> Trading those two guys. Yeah. I'm saying it's... it's it, I'm just... If I had to do it, if, if, if the option was there, that's the direction that I would try and take it. But Dawkins to guard is fine, too. And in that case, I'd cut... I really like I'd, Dawkins. I'd cut, I, I, I forgot I'd we talked about that all the time. Yeah, no, Dawkins is a guard. No. You wouldn't cut Quentin Span? No. I, I, I would want to see how he did at right guard first. Okay. Because I like, I like Quentin Span. Yeah, we're only a few days into camp. Hey, he's yeah. nasty. He's, he's nasty. Oh, he's so dirty. But when you play next to... Is he a product? Let me, let's just be real. Is he a product of playing next to Taylor Lewan? No. Could be. I understand that. Completely understand that. So what you're saying is he was covered up by Lawan, now he's covered up by Morse? Because we have the same conversation with what happened to Deion Dawkins. He was covered up by Richie Incognito, right? So this is this is a two-way street here. I understand. So yeah. when Dawkins fell off, you're like, well, he was covered up by Richie Incognito. No, Richie Dawkins was terrible. When does it fall on the player that he needs to be accountable for his actions? Oh, one or two, it always uh, falls. then he gets experience with this. Yeah, it always it always falls back on the player. Um, but I, I think the conversation could be had is Quint, was maybe Quentin Span was a free agent for as long as he was because everybody thinks that Taylor Lewan was doing all the heavy lifting. And that's fine. If the Bills were able to reap the benefits from that and see how, how much of an animal he is, if... Yeah, but what are the odds that 31 teams are wrong? So what you're saying is that because Deion Dawkins is, even though we're only a few days in the camp, Deion Dawkins is still not doing well, Morse, you're saying that Lawan covered up Spain, and Spain's not good enough to cover up Dawkins. Dawkins. Okay. I, I'm not saying that that's the case. I'm saying that it's a, it's there's a theory. theory. I mean, it's, I'm it, saying there's, there's, there's a narrative it. there. Yeah, you know, there, yeah. there's, there's a story that could be there. I completely understand that. I'm really curious what the comment section is. I'm say. very curious, but one thing before we go. Yeah. Could you imagine Thurman in today's NFL? With the receiving backs that we have, how much more effective he would have been? I mean, the guy's a Hall of Famer, but yeah. he was great at catching the ball out of the backfield. Oh, he was phenomenal. Oh. Yeah, he was phenomenal at catching the ball. Would you replace him with, with Shady? Or do you think they're. Thurman in his prime over Shady? Mm hmm. In his prime. 
Because Thurman in his prime over Shady now. Absolutely. I would take it. Shady's not the same runner as he was in his prime. Like nope. it's not the it's not the same. It's just not the same. Mm-hmm. Um Thurman in his prime, you take Thurman in his prime. I Shady'll never hit Thurman in his prime status in Buffalo. Like it's that's 